Wyatt is in the Mater vehicle. Oh, the window works. He's loving it. I don't think we got to go inside the last two times because people kept going in and out. <laughs> God, if I wanted to get on that thing, that would be my chance. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. Say la vie, say the old folks, it goes to show you never can tell. Truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. C'est la vie, c'est the Kind of TV. A high school for monsters on Caramount Plus. My eyes are down here. Where's Spookly? Spookly, where are you? Spookly, where are you? What the season finally so no more of that summer content but um i wanted to take you guys along with me we go to spirit and get wyatt a costume um i'm gonna try to film there there's usually a lot of people all over the place and it's usually really loud and music playing and bells ringing so i probably won't film 
that, but we will be getting Wyatt a Halloween costume. Very excited to see what he picks this year. But, and you know, as always, we always go to the pumpkin patch. We did already went, so I've got footage of that and I will insert it in this video. Um, we'll probably go again this month, but with like friends. I'm not totally sure yet, but yeah, that'd be cool if we can go a second time. When we went, it was so perfect because like, it was like way later in the day, it was a Sunday and there wasn't that many people. Usually the place we go was like hella packed and it wasn't packed. There was like walking space and Wyatt actually got to do everything we didn't get to do the last two times we went. He got to, he got to jump on like the, the bouncy thing and it was like a big inflatable pumpkin. So that was cool. He got to do the barrel swings. We got to do the cardboard cutout pictures. He got to like sit on this little dinosaur thing. Um, we got to look around the, the little shops and we got Wyatt a Spookly. He was so excited to get Spookly. Um, he's still like bringing it around with him. The first thing he does when he wakes up is he'll see Spookly and he'll go get him from his chair. It's so cute. So glad we got him his own little Spookly. Spookly is a square pumpkin, by the way. There's like a whole movie on it on Netflix if you feel like sharing that with your kids or even just watching. I mean, I enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah, we do do that. We might go again, so you never know. But I also want to show you my fall decor. I know I do it every year and you know with every year I want to add to my fall decor because my Christmas decor is like there's so much going on with my Christmas decor. Like I have so much but not enough like Halloween, fall, you know, decor of any sort. So like I wanted to like start getting more of that stuff instead of Christmas. So that's what I did. I think we got about like four or five new things that you might notice. And I try to do things a little different with the decor. So I seriously hope you guys liked, like it this year. Um, I'm probably not gonna do any more to it. This is like enough for me. So yeah, I don't know what else I'll be doing in this video, but if it's fall related, I'm gonna insert it in this video, don't you worry. And you can also expect like a fall cozy reading video soon. I thought of like a cool concept and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, let me stop rambling and we can get on with this vlog video. Sorry, I just did my hair. I'm trying to like fluff her out. But yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is our burnt orange bedding. It's not really showing up on camera, but I promise it's way more orange in person. Got the orange pillowcases to go with it. God, it looks so terrible on camera, but I promise it looks a lot better in person. It's more orange. We had this last year, we got it and yeah we're keeping her around for now very cozy for the fall time this is new um i got this fall blanket at walmart i thought it was really cute with the orange would match our bed and have some blacks in there because our little sofa is black so it kind of like the contrast is like good right here but um yeah i've been loving like seasonal blankets i have one for christmas with like red christmas trucks and i wanted one for halloween so i got this like gingham like plaid with little bats on it so whenever i'm ready to like cozy up and watch a spooky movie i can just pull up my little spooky blanket and just all the cozy vibes and watch the movie these lights are new as well. I thought they'd be bigger and like I noticed I'm not a fan of color lighting anymore. So I'm getting rid of like my blue lights and my purple lights and trading them out for like warm white lights because I feel like that's so much more cozier and it's like 
an all year kind of color like it works for fall it works for for Christmas it works for you know just the summer and spring like all the seasons so I think warm lighting is the way to go unfortunately they're not what I expected so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but pretty soon I'm gonna put my vines back up add more warm lighting here and yeah it'll be a whole vibe yeah super cute this is what our nightstand is looking like. I want it simple because we usually have like a shit ton of things up here. Don't mind that coffee water spot. I need to wipe that up. But yeah, we usually have like a lot of things up here between our water, both of our like Pro Max size phones and like, you know, charger wires hanging over, Wyatt's tablets, just so much going on. So I didn't want to like decorate the space too much. I just have Wyatt's Mike Wazowski pumpkin that I made him like two years ago. Right in the corner near his area so he can like play with it, access it whenever he wants. It's in his level so if he wanted to grab it he could. This is new. This is like my new favorite thing. It's like um what are they called like feather flowers and when I saw this color scheme I was obsessed I was like okay this is the color scheme I want all year long I need this so she'll probably stay for like all year round because she is so cute I want to find a better vase for her so for now the vase is being covered behind our little thing so you just see like the cuteness sprouting out so yeah, that's it. It really goes with the bedding and yeah, just the whole fall vibe. And over here on Wyatt's side, we have Wyatt's little spookly on his chair right by Mike. So like, it's like a little like pillow stuffy decor thing just on his chair. He can grab it whenever, play with it whenever. And when people come in, they'll see little spookly, the square pumpkin goes so cute with this little area very fitting for like a kid's like fall decor don't mind the vines i am cleaning them getting them sorted before hanging them back up but we have a little pumpkin we got at the pumpkin patch that wyatt picked so it's not the best he just picked whatever we have the pumpkin he picked just right here in front of his bed along with his little bucket of like little things he can try on and his little crocs and stuff just right here in the corner super cute maybe i'll move it next to his chair but right now i like it over here this is also new um i did this for wyatt he's been loving like car videos on youtube and of course he likes the movie um if you didn't watch wyatt's fourth birthday vlog um we had a car's birthday party and this was like the back banner and we had these hanging up uh, and I don't know I just wanted it as a backdrop like above his bed because I know he's obsessed with them so I just folded it to cover the happy birthday that used to be right there so that he just sees the cars and then I repainted his Wyatt letters it was blue now they're red to go with like the vibe and I just stuck more characters around his name and he loved it he's still going by it looking at all of them he was so excited when he saw it and I'm so glad I got to do that for him because it was so plain right here before but now it's looking good I might get him a car's bed set but for now he has Toy Story and yeah not much going on here but we just have like two pumpkin spooky buckets that's just holding a bunch of my products so like out of sight out of mind you can't see all the different mismatched colored products and stuff just have my little jewelry bowl here because nowhere else to put it i have like two spookyish books that this pumpkin head is sitting on you can't really see it but yeah it's two books right there i got this pumpkin last year i just put it up here next to the clock with a little elephant and my glitter lamp so it's kind of a vibe um, laundry basket 
nothing exciting over here. This is the top of our fridge. I need to wipe it down. So it, like disregard the grossness, but we just have our medicines, why it's clean stuff. That fork is dirty, some bread and SpaghettiOs. I got this little spooky bucket too. That's just holding all of Jerry's flavor packets because he has an issue and he can't finish a box so he'll buy all these boxes and now they have a place to go for now and then I just have this little glow in the dark spooky skeleton in the corner it doesn't really glow as much anymore but in case it was in the middle of the night it's all the way in the corner where no one can really see but yeah it's a vibe and why it likes it and the lights come all the way up here my little book cart up here is usually snacks i just this is new this little ghost guy it says boo he's got a cookie jar we got this little pumpkin pail filled with like little candies why i got from school recently so if anyone wants to get candy out of that they can or why it another bucket with some more little snacks and stuff Coraline is there i know she it's like why is she there but like she can't really stand on her own. I need to get like a doll stand. So like she's just going to be moving around throughout the room throughout the next few weeks. So she won't stay there. But for now, she's right there <laughs> looking creepy in all her glory. This is our coffee table. Um, um, these flowers I had last fall. I added more to them to make it more fall like. And I just have that in the center. I have an orange candlestick and a candlestick holder. I did have like two more, but I burned them. So we just have the one for this year. There's little skeleton guy. And we got these two new light up pumpkins. They look, they're such a vibe when the lights are off and you're watching a spooky movie. It really sets a, like the spooky vibe. Probably when Halloween's over and it's fall, I'm just going to turn them around and they will just look like regular pumpkins and you won't know that they're spooky pumpkins. And yeah, I have this thing. It's usually filled with like Reese's. Reese's are so good during the Halloween fall time. We got the pumpkin ones. It was filled to the brim, but as you can see, Jerry has eaten most of them. But yeah, it's, cu it's cute when it's filled up and yeah. So when we're sitting over here, we could just grab a Reese's and pig out. Um, I have my Buffy the Vampire Slayer doll. I didn't know where to put her. The place I wanted to put her, she didn't really fit with the other things. So I just have her next to this stuff and, you know, Bluetooth speaker, play music. And I hung up my sign. I don't bury hatchets. I sharpen them. I got that from the Wednesday series on Netflix. So I just put that on my letter board over everything. And it really sets the spooky vibes with the purple lights. I want to get rid of these purple lights and get actually multicolored curtain lights. But the purple really fits with the Halloween vibe. So I'm keeping it for the Halloween time. And Maybe come November, December, I'll get like different ones. But for now, the purple is working. And this is my favorite part of the whole room that I decorated. I got my little column thing since I've had since I was a child, my prized possession. And I just put like my, my favorite spooky books right there, Dowry of Blood, Bride, and Wednesday. I love these two books. I haven't read Wednesday yet. I've already seen um the show and it's just basically a novelization of the the show and I wanted to read it and rewatch the show at the same time and make a whole video with it so I haven't read her yet even though I basically know what it is and I just have this new skeleton head on the books along with my baby breath flowers and this new candle warm apple pie which it smells like fall like every time I come in here and that candle is lit really sets the fall mood it smells so good and I love lighting it when I'm watching a movie which is gonna be any second now <laughs> and I have Coraline's key um button key right there so thought it kind of fit right there it looks super cute I love it it's right next to 
our coffee table. It's just, it adds a little oomph to it. And I love it a lot. This is like my favorite corner of like the whole room. This doesn't really fit the vibe, but I don't know what to do over here. So it's just going to stay for this season, unfortunately. But I have Wyatt's trick-or-treating bag just hanging on the window. Have yourself a spooky little Halloween just to like add to the room. And I have this witch's broom hanging over the window. I thought it was like a nice touch to it. Add some more spooky vibes. And yeah, that was my little tour. I really love it. Um, I love watching spooky movies in here and being by myself and just have all the vibes happening all around me. Um, I'm actually about to watch a movie right now. I'm watching one of my favorite comfort um, horror films, which is Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp in it. Um, if you haven't seen it, recommend because just something about that movie does something to me and I love that fucking movie so I'm gonna do a rewatch right now while Wyatt's at school and yeah Doll. Oh, bumpy. Good trick or treating. Hey, Wyatt. Happy Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're messing with my family. <laughs> 